Hello and welcome to the Verdant Stadium. Another cup game and more cup football for Biggles Wage United this afternoon in the second round of the Hitchin Brook Cup as Yaxley FC, the United County League team, also step five, uh, visits the Verdant Stadium this evening for what has been a hectic last half an hour for everyone at the club, which I will get into very shortly. Well, without further ado, this is today's Biggles Wade United start 11. In goal is Jake Strong, outfield player Jake Strong, who's had to take place of Ollie Leslie, who we do believe will be on his way some point during the match, as well as Jade Norris, who was supposed to start today. Um, they were involved in a bit of a car accident on the way here. That We've been told that everyone is, at, is OK. There was a bit of an incident on the M25, and that's what's caused the hold-up for them. Um, we've been told that they're both OK, as well as Karen and Dale, who are volunteers, and Dale, one of the coaches at the club as well, that were on their way here to the Vern Stadium, as they would always do on a match day. Uh, we have been told, though, they are all OK, and they are on their way here shortly. So due to this, Jake Strong, one of our outfield players, chipped in to go in goal today. He scored the penalty to equalise, to make it 2-2 in that match. Last time out in the FA Vars, where Bigglesway tonight, tragedy got knocked out of the last on penalties on Saturday. Back four is Andless, who was supposed to be on the bench today, but he goes in and right back in place of Jake, who is now our goalkeeper. I'm hoping everyone at home is following this. Um, two and a half today, Ethan Flanagan and Joe Babbitt and Aaron Dunno getting a shout out left back. A midfield three of Connor Inskip, who captains the side now tonight, alongside our player coach Gaz Hunt. The number 10 role is Dave Burton. The Mackay angle, his 20th appearance this season. A front three of Jesus Mendoza, Markel Cousins, and up front is Corey Wilson. And on our last bench, we do have Lonnie Leslie, who we believe as soon as he's fit and ready to go when he's here, that change will most likely be made. But at the moment, his name is on the team sheet. And he's on the bench alongside of course, Jaden Irish as well. Same situation for him. Uh, Dave Bennett Parkinson, also Aaron Hudson, and Jordan Wright. So, a real game for Jake Strong, who me and Jake like to always talk about how uh, Jake Strong has played almost every position this season. Well, I think he's sure he might have taken the cake tonight, being in, being in goal as full commitment. And, uh, he could very much be a hero tonight for Biggles Wage United. It's an unprecedented situation, but sometimes this happens in non league football and you just got to get on with it. And full credit to Jake Strong, who's done that tonight, and he's wearing the number one shirt. <laughs> the substitute goalkeeper as well is Jordan Wright. Um, that's assuming Oli doesn't make it, which I'm not too sure about, really. I haven't really been told much. So, um, that situation, I'll try and get some updates on throughout. But I have been told the conditions of all four people in the car are all okay. So, that's great news, fantastic news. And that is the main thing. And something that we never do is not be switch sides up. I and mean, that's the one thing we have done, which I was waiting for to happen. So apologies for that. We're going to do a quick change of room as well for me. As we just get ready and set up to so good to go. Apologies there, we are back, all set up and ready to go. So, Yaxley themselves, the Letchworth Garden City Eagles in their last round fixture of the Hitchin Brook Cup in order to get to the first round. It was Red United, of course, beating Neverton United at seven side by seven goals for three away from home. And that's where we are now, the winner. Potentially, I should also mention the second round, but also a quarter final here, I believe. I might have to double check that. It's been a bit of a hectic few minutes, but we are underway. Interesting to see how Jake reacts in goal. Stas Hunt. 
It's now out to Aaron Dada. Now back with Gaz Hunt. This for Jesus is just too far for him. We're in here for Yaxley. That's Gaz Hunt. Flanagan. Ball one there was looking for Cousins on the right hand side. Ball comes over the top, and it's an opportunity here. To see what how Jake can do in goal, but wasn't needed there. Great defending at the back there. What was it? Is that better, Harry? Hold on. What about now? It's all pixel. Jaxi on the attack here. And Better now, Harry. What is there? We're just making sure that. Thank you very much. We're back. We're good to go, and you haven't missed much if you haven't been able to see whilst I've been playing around. There's Gaz. Looking for a little shimmy there. And it's Makai with the shot, stayed by the goalkeeper, uh, Connor Barton. That's Hunt. All over the top, we know Jesus can run, and then that's closest to the goalkeeper. Jaxi here doing some defending. Oh, Joe Babbage at the back. All the things like United. And over the ground. Really hurt me. Ended there by Gaz. We're up all over the top. Fan good known defenders know they're going to have to be good here. Because of course the outfield player in goal. I have seen a car pull up. I don't think he's turning in now. That flags up for offside again, actually. And so far, Jake Strong hasn't had an awful lot to do and he'll have his first kick now in the fifth minute mark. It's Biggles Wage United Nil, Yaxi Nil. If you're just joining us here, uh, make sure you stay subscribed to the Biggles Wage United YouTube channel as always. And uh, of course, here is the situation. Of course, Biggles Wage United is looking to not get knocked out of their third consecutive cup competition in three matches. They're going to have to do it the hard way from the get-go with Ollie Leslie missing um, due to an accident that happened before the game. It would 
been told that him and Jaden Irish, who are both of us to both start today, are both okay, which is great news, as well as two of our volunteers, Cass and Dale, that were involved in a bit of a car accident. But again, everyone is okay. Um, of course, it's just caused a lot of harm getting here, but the most important thing is everyone is okay. That means that Jake Strong, one of our outfield players, is in goal today. So, uh, yeah, that is the situation for anyone who has just joined us. A long throw in here for Biggles Wade United. Headed away comfortably there by Yaxley. Jake Strong, who was a little bit from from English, zero to zero a little bit. Winning the penalty, a score in the penalty um, in the last minute of the game to uh, take the game to penalties against Whitchurch all caught in the FA Vars on Saturday. But unfortunately, he was one of the players who missed the penalty in the shootout of narrow 4 3 defeat. In both teams. Kel Cousins, it's Kel, Corey, it's Wilson, Corey Wilson, that's a foul just outside the box, free kick. Well, this is a story, actually, I just realised, Biggles Edge now, without a clean sheet this season, it would be, uh, it would be something if Jake was the person to get our first clean sheet this season, but it's a free kick here for Biggles Edge United, eight minutes in. One by Corey Wilson just outside the box. It's going to be Gaz, Kel and Joe all over this. I'd have to fancy Kel with Gaz from here. Yeah, Joe stepped away. That's not a surprise. Eight minutes played because we United nil, Yaxi nil in the Hitchin Brook Cup second round. Marco is the one running for it, but I think it's going to be Gaz Hunt. The free kick wasn't far off, just wide. Good effort there by our player, Coach Gaz Hunt. But goal kick. As the rain has uh, been... It's been uh, pretty decent today in terms of the weather. The, uh, the rain wasn't too bad for the day, but as soon as the kickoff started, the heavens have indeed opened here at the Royal Stadium. All over the top here with Yaxley. He might ever get their first chance on goal here. Passed it through. Ethan Fanagan with a great touch there. And Jake Strong, brilliant there, coming out there. But it's still danger here for you. Because what would you like to contend with? Great defending there at the back from Aaron Dada. There's going to be a free kick just outside the box. But good uh, bit of goalkeeping there from Jake Strong. Maybe not too familiar with his hand there, but knew how to use his feet. And he went in for the tackle. And this is going to be a real test for him now. It's going to be a free kick just outside the box for Jake Strong to uh, contend with. Now, 10 minutes played. Biggles Wade United nil, Yaxley nil here in the Hitchin Brook. Second round, which I believe is also the quarterfinals. So the winner of this will be going into the semi final of the Hitchin Brook Cup. It is silverware. going to be a free kick if it goes over the wall you have to feel like the Axie players would probably fancy it going in but the big test for Jake who certainly isn't the tallest thank you Kim free kick here it's over the wall what a save by Jake Strong that's a fantastic save from Jake Strong there and it's the number 10, Matthew Harris, Hercules, 
with the free kick, and it was well saved by Jake Strong. Thank you, Guillaume, for confirming it. it is the quarterfinal of the Hitchinbrook Cup. And Jake Strong made a fantastic save there. He's going to be a busy boy tonight. And that's going to be a corner here for Biggles Way to contend with. Cross coming in. Header through and it's in. And uh, you actually have taken the lead. There wasn't much Jake Strong could have done about that one, in all fairness. And it's Biggles Way United nil. You actually won. And it's Riley Barter Nicholson with the goal uh, from the header. He's a real danger man. 16 goals for the season for him. And it's Biggles Wage United nil. Yaxley won. And uh, did really well there for the, for the free kick there, Jake. But there really wasn't much he could have done about that corner there, that header. Pinpoint accuracy. And Yaxley. Yaxley have taken the lead here in the quarter final with Hitchinbrook Cup. It's biggest way United Neil. Yaxley won. We can just update the score, please. All comes over the top. And Yaxi, yeah, apologies, we are back here. So we have a few connection issues, but we are back. Yaxi back on the attack. But we have a top, and it's saved by Jake Strong again. And it's a uh, regular goalkeeper. Would obviously catch that, but with Jake. Being the outfield player, he made the save and now he's got to contend with this corner again. So, uh, I think Red United will certainly be hoping they can defend this corner a little bit better than they did last time. First three minutes played here. It's because Red United nil, Yaxley won in the Hitchinbrook quarter final. Got to be careful with Jake here. Bombs out through again and it's punched in and this time the free kick has been given a foul on Jake Strong which I think he was contending for for the first goal. This time it is a free kick, goal not given and uh, still 1-0 to Yaxley. This guy's hand. That's my car angle. Yeah, it's been intercepted here by Yaxley. Well, back going forward here, but Gaz with the header defensively, it's still in danger though. Now, and Leslie. It's a loose one there from Matthew Harris Hercules. Tennis players to wake up, he's absolutely spot on all over the top here. And Corey could well be away if he can control here. It's Corey Wilson, he's up against three defenders here. He's got Jesus by his side if he wants to find him. It's Wilson now to Mendoza. Can United here get a goal here on the counter attack to level things up? It's Mendoza, it's blocked off. 
and clear the way only as far as Adam, Aaron Dalla, sorry, for Biggles Wage United, who looked to try and level things up. That's a great ball out wide to Jesus, who stays on side. It stays in play. It's Jesus Mendoza for Biggles Wage United. Cross coming in at the back post. It's Mackay. And it's just hit the top of the side netting. But a good effort there and much better from Biggles Wade United. In fact, it's not gone out. It's come off the defender and it's going to be a corner. Corner here for Biggles Wade United. Gaz Hunt over it. We'll see a Joe Babish special. Cross coming in. Headed by Flanagan. Clear the way. You actually look to counter here. They've got bodies forward as well. There's three up here. It's a three on three here, potentially. And you actually here. Look at the break from Niggles Road United's corner. Low cross coming in. It's come all the way through. Riley again. Shot well over the bar. Other way. Let's see, let's go back forward here. Come through. Flag stays down here. It's a low cross in. It's caught by Jake. Well played there by Jake Strong. Gaz Hunt. That ball over the top. Corey's on side, but it's cleared away there. Headed away by Finley Henderson of Yaxley. Well, Flanagan's missed out. That's very unlike him here. And the number nine could well be away for Yaxley. And fantastic save again by Jake Strong. The outfield goalkeeper is keeping Diggles Road United in this cup tie. Still 1-0, and it's gone out of play for a corner. Brilliant save there by Jake Strong. And now they want to be careful here. We see what they've done from the corner at 1-0. Taken and this time the header is over the bar and it's a goal kick. One thing we know about Jake Strong here is his passing accuracy is very, very good. So uh, that's one thing that could work in his favour as a goalkeeper. 20 minutes played. It was Red United nil, Yaxley won. And uh, that was the penultimate commentator's curse there because that goalkeeper went out for a throw. Jake collects. Well done, Jake.
Jake. Jake and Skip, who didn't quite control it, but Ethan does. Mackay with the flick on, looking for Markel. Flanagan. in control at the moment. Work to do for Vigas Wade United. Ball over the top here from Jesus. Not the ball that he would be expecting from himself to do. Hannigan. Comfortable. Hannigan. And Leslie, now through to Markel Cousins, keeps it, controls it well. And now Jesus can try and chase that, it was well defended. And that's back in the hole there for Mackay Angle. It's Mackay, now to Gaz, looking for that ball over the top to Kel. Controls it well, Markel Cousins goes for the finish, just wide of the post. Goal kick, but very good play there from Biggleswage United. Those passing rhythms were going, and it's, they're getting closer. Twenty-two minutes played. Spickles Red United nil. Yaxley won here in the Hitchinbrook Cup quarter final. Here, but Aaron Dallas says no. Lose pass low out to Hazels. All over the top, Jesus is onside. It's Mendoza. Jesus Mendoza, the biggest way United gets the cross in with the header, and it's a goal. Markel Cousins with his header, and Biggles Wade United back on level turns. He doesn't score many with his head. He did that time. Markel Cousins with the header and Biggles Wade United back on level terms here. Biggles Wade United won. Yags the FC nil. I just had to double check whether that was Kel. It was Kel. And a pinpoint cross from Jesus and Markel Cousins. Like I said, haven't seen him score many headers since I've been here. And he needed that one for his seventh of the campaign. It's Biggles Wade United won. Yags the FC won. A good response there. And all those saves from Jake Strong very much warranted now. Because he kept his team in the game, and now we are back on level terms. It's because Red United won. Yax the FC won. Brilliant defending and tracking back there for Markel Cousins. And that's a great ball. Corey's offside. Jesus isn't, but you think Corey was interfering with play there. He ain't going to get away with that one. I know that that is certainly one thing that Jordan and Gaz want from Markel Cousins to track back and defend and help his team. And that's exactly what he did straight after scoring that equaliser as well, was there to help his team defend. Gaz wins that brilliantly. Bit of a heavy one, though. Twenty-five minutes played here at the Verdant Stadium. Spiggles Edge United one, Yaks the FC one. Of all the uh, circumstances in the build-up to this game, I have to say United have played very well. The uh, FA Vars hard take from Saturday in skip. There's a bit of a loose one from him. That's going to go straight to the goalkeeper Connor Barton in the Axley goal. Brilliant there from Ant Leslie. Still going is Ant Leslie. He's looking for the overlapping run of Kel. But now the referee, I think, is going to put it back 
for the original free kick with Ant Leslie fouled. He carried on. The advantage was played. The advantage wasn't there. So he pulled it back and Gaz has played it quickly. Gaz with the shot from distance. Keeper was certainly uh, not expecting it. Um, it has gone wide, but if that was on target, you have to feel that definitely could have been in the back of the net there from our uh, player coach, Gaz Hunt. Ethan Flanagan. Mackay angle with the flick on. Brilliant for Mackay. Hey, Zeus, he's looking for Corey. If you can time this right here, Bill, this is just too far for Corey. The goalkeeper did exceptionally well. And now we've certainly got a cup tie on our hands here, ladies and gents. Biggest Wage United won. Yaks the FC won here at the Verdant Stadium. Biggles Wage United returned to Spartan South Midlands League action for the first time since the 28th of October. Um, due to a number of things, really, postponements, uh, the cup competitions that we have been in, but mainly it was postponements. <laughs> so, yeah, um, they returned to action this weekend away at Colney Heath. And uh, myself, Ryan Madden, will be on commentary on, on spaces for that one. Uh, Colney Heath versus Biggles Wade United, Biggles Wade United. Back on the road, and that's a poor pass by Jake. But Gaz reacts well, goes for the quick pass here to Corey, and the defender covered him exceptionally well there. Harvey Henderson staying in play now here for Yaxley. That's a loose one. Connor's gone in then. That's, it looks like half a dozen of the 50 uh, 50 there, almost really. And the uh, referee has seemed to agree. And uh, has given the throw in to Biggles Wade. Great intensity in this cup tie for both teams. Sant Leslie out to Aaron Dada. It's Dada. That's a great pass through here on the inside to Jesus Mendoza. who can keep this in play. Mendoza. It's Jesus has really got one assist in this game. Plays it through. Corey with the dummy. Markel wasn't there. Bit of a miscommunication there between Corey and uh, and Kel there. You'd expect Corey to uh, tap that home there. But clearly he must have heard something. But it certainly wasn't Markel Cousins because he wasn't there behind him. They're still going to continue though and react well here. Biggles Wade. And now uh, we've got a counter-attack here for Yaxley. They could be through all goal here. The number nine. It's a heavy touch. Jake Strong. Brilliant. By Jake Strong there, reacted exceptionally well, did Jake, to deny Riley for his second goal for Yaxley. That's another loose pass here, and now Yaxley looking to capitalise. Good defending there by Connor Insky, and Mackay Angle. No foul, says the referee, and I have to say I agree with him there. It's Angle, out to Aaron Dada. That's a lovely pass. No, it's not. It's straight to the defender. I do apologise. Got a little bit too ahead of myself there. Leslie did well. Actually, are getting frustrated, which is, could only help Biggles Wade United at this stage, I feel. Comes over the top, headed away by Babbage. Let's come back to Riley. We've already seen how dangerous he could be. And again, he's denied by Jake Strong and it's out of play for a corner. He's getting more and more confident with every save he makes, Jake. Corner here for Yaxley. Half a, just cost half an hour mark here. It's Biggles Wedge United 1, Yaxley 1 in the Hitchin Brook Cup quarter final. Cross coming in, it's high. Headed away by Flanagan. Gaz can 
boot it through here and Jesus is up against the goalkeeper goalkeeper did his job he says what Jake is doing today amazing we need to tell the story of his goalkeeping I'm sure it must be a fascinating one. oh Guillaume absolutely from what I've been told before the match he's never been in goal before due to the only situation I think Jordan said who fancies who fancies going in goal originally we thought it was going to be Jordan right in goal um our coach but um Jake said I'll do it and uh watched him in the warm-up looked very good and uh yeah I'll tell you what if it's free to go our way here it might even be a podcast this week that might be an idea where I can try and see if we can run my neck and see if Jake's available for it for sure and it's Jesus Mendoza Mendoza. It's a loose one. The fascinating thing as well, and I said it, um, I said it before the match. Uh, Jake Strong uh, is a player who has played right wing, has played left wing, has played right back, and has now played goalkeeper. There is not many plays that you can see. Ian says we need to keep the ball and grow through it. We release it too early. And when we lose it, we don't have a clear idea of where to defend and gaps are left for Yaxi to use. Yes, absolutely. That, that is spot on, game. It's just a little bit panicky at times, which due to the situations before the match, I can understand that heads might not be as focused as they would normally be before a game. When your goalkeeper and your captain has been involved in the incident that happened before the match, but... All that being said, I think because Red United are still putting ahead of performance, and uh, it's in skip, guys. Hi, it's certainly a fascinating story. I've never seen anything like that before the game, and a story which, of course, we hoped could never have this sort of situation happen but then when it does and jake now has got to deal with his second ball oh he's fucking oh, brilliant there by jake strong but of course the situation was forced upon us and uh jake has stepped in and he's done really well so far half an hour only gone of course but on Babbage with the interception on a high angle who grows each and every week. I mentioned his 20th appearance in a Biggles Red United shirt this season. That's brilliant from Kel. We couldn't quite keep that up there. Loose one and in skip did well there. The biggest United captain this evening. Now it's Gaz Hunt. I mean, this has been a week for Jake's time. You think of the penalty he scored on Saturday to, to level things up against which church all Paul and went from that rise to being one of the players to miss the penalty in the shootout. And now tonight, having to step in goal only three days later, it's the more you think about it, the more incredible story you think it is. And the only way it could be topped is it was Red United can win this game with an outfield player in goal. Well, there is ball with hands by his side. I don't think you can really be giving it. I don't understand United, of course, uh, wanting that. That has got some work to do. A hell of a night for him to impress. I can't be able to get that there. No foul, free kick. No, no foul, sorry. So no free kick. It's a loose one. It's out of play for a goal kick. 10 minutes to go before half time. It is Biggles United 1, Yaxley 1 here in the Hitchin Brook Cup first rounds. 
second, uh, sorry, quarter final. Strong. Half out to Marco. Couldn't quite latch on to it though, Marco. That's another loose one now. Hitch bobbled just for Mackay there. And it's Mackay Angle finding the space, finding his run. It's still Mackay Angle. This could be a special goal here for Angle. And as I said, that like, he just fluffed his foot there slightly. A great run by the young Mackay Angle. Babbage. Brilliant defended by Joe Babbage. Back to his. His regular centre half spot tonight is been at left back for the majority of the season. And Gaz looking to try and get onto this Markel Cousins ball. How many times have I said that over the years? Markel Cousins for Biggers Wade United, the man that got them back on level terms this evening. Looking to take the game by the scruff of the net. Good defending back there. And Ant has given away the free kick. Over the top here. This could be danger now for United. To tend to go before half time. They would not want to concede here. Shot from distance. Just over the bar. And Jake was watching it and watching it and watching it. And thankfully it did go over the bar. On there with a goal kick, Kyle couldn't quite latch onto it. Kai Angle, Connor in skip. Oh my, that's a great ball. Win. Mendoza ball defeat, couldn't quite keep it. He's up against two though. He has he has kept it. He's now going back to with Connor in skip. Gaz screaming for it, and Gaz loses the ball. And now he actually could not be on the attack here. Joe's committed himself here, and Wiley's in an onside position. The tens now come through. He's got an extra man there, and and brilliant defending there from Ann Leslie and Jake Strong collects comfortably in the end. Still Jesus. Hard to tell. Who then gets it through to Ann in between the two defenders here is Han Leslie. I felt once the overlap there and it was blocked off by the defenders. And then Ant's caught his man there, and that's gonna be a free kick. Five minutes to go before half time. Free kick here to Yaxley. As a reminder, big thank you to all our sponsors here at Biggers Wage United. We'd like to thank Verdon for being our ground sponsor. The Keach Hospice Care for being our chosen charity. Uh, Flawless Landscapes for being our reserve team sponsor. Axis for being our women's senior team sponsor. 
just blemish for SL for being our general sponsor. Flawless Landscape has been our reserve team sponsor, and JMB Motorsports has been our vet team sponsor. We'd like to thank all of our partners for the 2023 24 season as the uh, Yahtzee goalkeeper. Connor Barton about to take the free kick inside his own half with just under five minutes to go before half time. And uh, what a fascinating first half this has been at the Verdant Stadium this evening in more ways than one. Connor in skip. Jazz Hunt. Ball comes over the top here as Jake commands his box fantastically well. And he's uh looks like he's going to keep his side on level terms going into the half time whistle. But we have got 42 minutes played. Jake Strong there with a goal kick. Away, okay. And then fast as the referee, it was all over in there from, from my angle, that's for sure. But the referee says no. Two minutes before 45. Good defending there by Connor Inskip on the side. And he's kept and he's got it away there, Connor Inskip. Fantastic defending by him, but then he's done the hard bit, but then he's passed it straight back to Yaxley with Harvey Henderson. Nine there going through. Yaxi Purr in here just before half time. The shot goes over the bar. Goal kick. <coughs> and uh, Biggles Ways United have about a minute plus any stoppage time. And there hasn't been many stoppages. So, uh, Jake Strong, who's really been the story of the half, realistically, the outfield player in goal today. He's getting better with those goal kicks, too. Corey flicks it on, keeps it in play. It's now Mackay Angle here. Cleared. Brilliant defending at the back there from Yaxi, but Mackay gets it back. Mackay with the cross in. He's looking for Jesus. Flicks it on. Gaz was going to... I was getting ready to rifle it home, but the defender got there before him. This game is very open. And now it's Connor Inskip out there. And just before half time, he's going to take the lead for the first time. Puts the player on the floor just by cutting inside, but couldn't quite get the, uh, the ball in. Gaz, really impressive. Now Corey Wilson one on one. Fluffs it. And now it's Markel Cousins. It's Cousins. Now Gaz. And well, and Corey Wilson, that's his bread and butter normally, but United are still attacking. Now, why now is Ant Leslie blocked off? 
I don't think I might be timing Marco this time. And Joe Babbage rifles it back, and my car is going to try and keep that one. He isn't going to. It will definitely come, though. There's chances in this game as we enter stoppage time in the first half, and that's a big, big moment there for Corey Wilson. Then one on one with the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, in all fairness to Connor Barton, he's done really well. He's gone up, he's made himself big, and he's uh, it put Corey off the shot there. And uh, got to give the credit to the goalkeeper there for making himself big and uh, making the save. You'd expect Corey, of course, man of his talents, to uh, be putting that one away, but it wasn't to be this time. I'm sure he'll have plenty more chances in the second half. Does head to sit away. Not half time yet. We really. are in stoppage time, and you actually might have one last attack of this first half. Jesus, brilliant good blocking there from Jesus Mendoza. And again, flicks it away. It's now Gaz Hunt, Connor in skip. A high angle, still playing in stoppage time of this first half. In the Hitchin Brook Cup quarter final, Biggest Red United have a free kick just inside their own half there. Guys, to take it, Markel. He's on slot. He was, I thought he was on, but he's not. And that is the half time whistle here at the Verdon Stadium. An extremely fascinating cup tie, the Hitchin Brook Cup quarter final, where there's more than just a football match of a story to tell here. With Jake Strong, who had to uh, go in goal due to the fact that Ollie Leslie and Jaden Irish involved in that uh, car accident, which we've been told that everyone is okay, but they couldn't make it to the match. It was Wage United without a uh, goalkeeper on the bench. And uh, Jake Strong, who was originally supposed to start at right back this evening, um, stepped up and said, I'll go in goal. And uh, in all fairness, he made a great save that went away for a corner. And then, uh, yeah, hang on just a minute, there are a few officials, a couple of the Axie players and the goalkeeper talking to the referee and their coaches shouting at them there to... Uh, pretty much uh, leave the ref alone there. But as I was saying, Jake Strong stepping in goal, made a great save. It was in the returning corner, Yaxi scored, and there wasn't really much Jake could have done about it. It was a pinpoint header by, by Riley Nichols, Nicholson to uh, put Yaxi in front. And Jake Strong then had to make some great saves to keep his side only a goal down. And it was a fantastic move. Jesus Mendoza crossed in and headed, uh, the header by Marco Cousins puts us on level terms. There's been chances for both sides, and chances are plenty. Don't forget, if it's level at full time, we go to yet another penalty shootout. Do not go anywhere. We've got a cracking second half coming up here at the Vernon Stadium. Half-time score. Eagles Wedge United 1, the Axley 1. Today, it's industry related. I'll tell you why. In fact, let me get somebody else to tell you. Please print your big and weight pictures. Images are ready. Let's go. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Massive place. Let me show you more about what's going on and everything. And all that. So. Ah, that's the that's yeah. Yeah. Uh, I select the bowl and I put on the meat. That is the quality. Uh huh. 
and the best quality fuel. Th that's it? Wow, what now? <laughs> no, no, we got it right, we got it right. Can I feel useful? Thank you. See, I'm helping now. Welcome to the changing room of the whole team, Beagles Are United. <laughs> what do we think? What do we think? Good. Very good. <laughs> oh, you're on twice. Have a seat. Once, twice. So are you, Tracy? Once, twice. Now I thought the other mural could actually go somewhere that reminds the players that they are the club, but they're not just there on their own. Let me show you. There. He is also here. <laughs> I love Twitter. You put a tweet out and you never know what's going to happen. He walks on his own and I put a tweet on my account and the club's account saying anybody wants to have the naming rights of our ground, of Beagles Ray United ground. And Verdon Financial Planning answered straight, straight away. Actually, it was Jimmy Munga, their managing director, uh, who said, we have a relationship with uh, Beagles Ray already. We want to continue that, in fact, increase that, and that's what we've done. The relationship with them have grown since, but one of the things that has come out is that from now on, our ground will be called the Verdant Stadium. Sounds good, Verdant Stadium. And in there, you'll be able to watch the men's first team and the reserves, and of course, the Reds and the Blues as well, the women's sides, the senior sides, and hopefully, a lot of wins. And it will be a lot of wins because we get the likes of the supports of Verdon to actually help us grow. I cannot wait to hold the six directors and anybody else from Verdon at the ground. And in fact, any of you, I'll see you at the Verdon Stadium.
And uh, we are back for the second half. It looks like Jake Strong is going to continue to be in goal. No sign of Ollie Leslie. So, Jake will continue in goal. He's getting some words of wisdom there from Dave Billy Parkinson, club legend, of course. And uh, I think he'll fill him with confidence so far, really. And playing in a position he's never played in before, at least from what I know of anyway. And he certainly made some saves you wouldn't have thought an outfield player could make in goal. And he's got a big second half coming up. As uh, Biggles Wage United will be looking to uh, get through to the semi final of the Hitchinbrook Cup, of course, being knocked out of the Gladwish Challenge Trophy by Sarah a few weeks back. Actually, it was probably about a month ago now. Um, of course, then being knocked out of the Vars just this Saturday, just gone at the Verdant on penalties, a narrow defeat to Whitchport, Whitchurch All Court. And uh, in these circumstances, if they can pull off a result now, based on the last two performance, last two matches, it would be absolutely fantastic. And they're very much still in this club tie here. It's going to finally level contest between two sides at the same level of this pyramid. Yaxi, who play in the league that Biggers Road United will know from a few years back, uh, the United Counties League, they're eighth in that league, and uh, Biggers Road United sixth in the Spartan South Midlands League. So it's a uh, very similar teams in terms of where they have, how they have been so far this season. And uh, I'd, I have to say it's probably been a level contest overall. Biggers Road United, I think, have just edged it for me in that first half, but. Markel Cousins stepping up with a fantastic header to level his side back on level terms after Riley of Yaxley put his team in front with a header and himself on the corner. Tell her two headers so far in this match. And we are continuing to get back underway here now at the Vernon Stadium. We're back underway for the Hitchinbrook Cup quarterfinal between Biggles Wedge United and Yaxley. Yaxley kick us off. I'm going to give him the head of the back. Yaxi have started brightly in their bright orange kit. So through, good flick on and Flanagan club as well. Jake was going to come out for a bit. Ethan covered it well. Mendoza. It's a lovely ball. Just shoot that in play now, Markel Cousins. He has, but there was no one there to uh, cover the shot there. Brilliant ball there from Jesus Mendoza. It's brilliant by Jesus Mendoza. That's more like it from him. It's Mendoza, Gaz Hunt. Out wide here to Marco Cousins. He's got Mackay next to him. He's now back with Gaz. Don't think you knew much about that. And now Mackay drifted in and out there. Looking to keep this in play. It looks like he's going to. Lovely little back hill there out to Aunt Leslie. It's Leslie with the cross in. Defended the way. Corey, I shot him a handball. I don't really think that was a handball. Flanagan couldn't quite control it, and it's out of play for a throw in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Interception is now back with Jesus Mendoza. Mendoza out to Inskip. Connor Inskip. Jesus Mendoza. Corey couldn't quite keep his, get his feet onto that. James Hartman, header away. It's Mendoza. Jesus. Babbage. Gaz. Cousins. Markel Cousins here. He could be through with the goalkeeper. Markel Cousins saved by the goalkeeper again. And it was straight at him again. He went out early, just like the Corey chance. Made himself big. And, uh... Come on, but I'm keeping side on level terms there. And Markel Cousins this time, or I think that was Gaz actually, as I was looking down to uh, remember who the actually goalkeeper's name was. It was Gaz. It's going to be a foul against him. And Markel Cousins gutted that he didn't put his side 2 1 up there, but a great effort from Kel. Oh, Jazz. Hunt gets the first booking of the game. That's our player, player coach, Gaz Hunt. And I think I see a. Uh, I could be wrong. I think I just saw Jaden Irish go back into the dugout there. So I wonder if Ollie is going to follow suit. And the fullback here, the number two is her few words, Thomas Ryan there, the referee. The referee's letting him off at the moment. It's Harvey Henderson with the free kick on the halfway. Headed away by Flanagan. It's Mackay Angle. Brilliantly well. There's two up with him. Mackay. Lovely ball over the top to Corey Wilson here. Goalkeeper hesitated. He's got bodies up there with him. It's Corey Wilson out wide. Looking for Mendoza. Brilliant defending. Still Jesus. Saved again. Mendoza. Saved again by the goalkeeper. And he actually scrambled it away somehow. And it's 1-1 still. But brilliant play there from Wade. And now you, that goal kick. All of a sudden... Yaxley are away, right from the other end of the pitch here. How is it short? Brilliant defending, tenacity at the back there from Joe Babbage. Big Joe. Gaz Hunt, all over the top. And that one is going to be comfortable for the goalkeeper. Two minutes in. The three just got his linesman about something. Jake Strong there with a the goal kick. 
Well, it's all about winning them second balls. You know, they've done that well in this second half. Pat Cousins there, uh, good interception by him. Another throw in there from Iraq State. Taken quickly, good pressing here from United. This game is very much on a knife edge here. Jesus Mendoza. United controlling the second half a lot better than they did the first. Double dub on there, Jesus. He looks to be tired. We know he was recovering from that hamstring injury, of course. He returns on Saturday. Throwing out wide now for Biggles Way to United. Jesus back to Kai. That's Jesus with the cross in. Corey missed time the header. Hasn't quite been his night in front of goal so far. Well, because Red United's number nine. And Dan Nesley gives away the free kick there. And uh, neither side are happy with that. And it's not happy with the, the, uh, the free kick being given. And I think Yanks would have wanted the advantage there pretty much. But they're taking it short here out wide. Cross coming in. Headed away. Fence are doing their job so far. Mackay needs to get there a bit closer. And that's a loose one again. And in skip can parry this one. A few tangles in there from both teams. And I think he's going to give the free kick in favour of Biggles Way there. I have to say, I'm not entirely sure that was the right decision. But free kick has been given for a foul on Connor Inskip. Jake Strong over this free kick for Biggles Wade. Wasn't a bad ball. And um, you actually are getting more and more frustrated with this situation. And I can just see Biggles Wade more and more. Only 10 minutes into the second half, but Biggles Wade in full control. Gaz pressing. Brilliant as well from Corey. That goal kick. That could be loose now, and Jesus might be able to latch onto it. He has. It's Jesus Mendoza out wide here for Biggles Wade United. Keeps, couldn't couldn't quite keep it in play, but made sure it didn't go out for a goal kick. Good play there from Jesus Mendoza. Line I didn't know is left and right there for a second, but the throw in is time to Biggles Wade after the throw in from Yaxi did go out to play. And the ball's gone flat, so they have to have another ball. The joys of non league football, everybody. Or has it? I don't know what's going on here. And uh, I don't know what that was about, but it's throwing the biggest weight. They're retaking it now. I don't understand what the hell is going on here. Chested down from Jesus. Michael Cousins. He's looking for the out wide now. We're back with Gaz Hunt. And Jesus blocks him off. Defender brilliantly well in skip. It's caught. It's uh, out wide to Aaron Dada. Goes for the low driven cross. Defended well. Corner Biggles Wade. Good, really good football this from Biggles Wade United. They're getting closer to taking the lead for the first time in this contest.
Corner to Biggles way. Jazz Hunt over it with the cross. What a corner. They've got themselves a corner, and Yaxley are absolutely furious with the official. Corners of Biggles Wade United. You're actually furious about it, but it's going to be a cor uh, corner for Biggles Wade. It is low. Jesus went for the spectacular. Time. Lovely little flick on there from Flanagan. It's out wide. Low driven cross in. Corey Wilson is off the post. How has that not gone in? And I'm not quite sure how it was Wade United are not 2 1 up here. Corey Wilson is down, was caught. Corey Wilson is down. This isn't good. There was a Bit muddly there for Yaxley, but they've just about cleared that away. And now Jordan Wright is going to be talking to you, Jake Strong, a little bit off us green. And Corey is back up, which is great to see. But one thing you can't see, which I will be showing you here, is Jake Strong getting some words of advice there from your coach, Jordan Wright. He might want to hurry up and run back into his goal. And there's other tuition has been made there for Yaxi. Zanino Gomez off for number 11, Keelan Hitchinson. For Yaxi, their first substitution of the game. As I think, I want to say that is Jaden Irish who's uh, ready in to come on. So he's back. Over the top. Oh, it's a slip there. Matt Flanagan spared uh, the blushes of Joe Babbage there a little bit. And now it's in skip. It's Connor in skip. Jesus got some work to do, but we know he's got the legs for it. It's Jesus. And that's our play. And it's going to be a corner. And uh, substitutions. Get him ready. Not quite yet. So we're an hour gone here. Still, somehow, Biggles Wade United won. Yaxi won in the second half. It's been dominated by Biggles Wade United. It's Gaz Hunt over this corner. Guys with the corner. It's an inskip with the header. Just over. And that one doesn't quite surprise me there. Our player Captain coach Gaz Hunt coming off for Captain. Number seven, Jaden Irish. Jaden Irish coming on, and uh, with everything that went on before the game, fair play to him for coming back onto the pitch. After his uh, car incident that happened before the match, and uh, clearly is okay, and everyone involved was okay. I believe Ollie is here as well, but Jake's doing so well. I'm not quite sure if Ollie did make the bench or not. I 
information, guys, off Jaden on. That's a poor free kick by Yaxley. That sums up their performance so far in this uh, second half. Been much, much better. And a lot of what Guillaume was saying in that first half of what United need to do in this second half, I actually think that is exactly what Vigas United have been doing. They've been sharper on the ball. They've been quicker than Yaxley in the second half. Only issue is it is still only 1-1. One, one. Jesus, fantastic. Oh, Markel Cousins here. Actually, not from a mistake. He's getting pulled and everything here. Right in front of the referee. Referee says nothing there. It's, he's managed to somehow keep it now. It's Aunt Leslie. And that is struggled a little bit tonight, which is very unlike him. One of those really normally most consistent performance, performers. McCoy, that's a, that's a forward foul, that is. You don't mind those. It's a free kick. A yellow card there. I think that is very harsh indeed because it's a tactical foul, if anything else. Yellow card from a Kai angle. And now Jordan Wright is uh, going to get talking to from the referee there. And the re Jordan Wright didn't say much wrong. All he said was two fullbacks for them got uh, the same foul against Biggles Wage United. The, the same foul happened and uh, no free yellow was given. But then as soon as Makai's done it once, it's a yellow card. That's pretty much what he said. And there wasn't even any uh, swearing in that one for Jordan. So uh, just gets to talking to would have been very harsh if it was anything else. Of a Free kick. It's good. Will be dangerous, of course. All the way through. Goal kick. Reminder, if this does stay level, we will be going to yet another Big Wiz Red United penalty shootout. Kai with a flick on. Corey. Jesus Mendoza. Out to Makai, who's just slipped, but he's got back to his feet. And he's kept it as Makai Angle. It's Angle for Biggles Wade. Jaden Irish. Back to Makai Angle. Jaden Irish. Oh, Corey. Didn't anticipate it. And now it's Aaron Dada. Jesus Mendoza. He's on side, says the linesman. Jesus Mendoza cuts inside. Stays on his feet. Jaden Irish. From outside the box. Blocked off by the defender. Doesn't arrive for them home very often. He did well there. And Leslie. That's away. Babbage. In the way. That's a foul. Free kick to Yaxley. The free kick taken short and out wide. It's on. That's blocked off by Inskib and Yaxi get their first corner of the game. Sorry, the second half, I should say. They, of course, scored from their first corner of the first half. And it looks like Dave Bullet Parkinson will be ready to come on soon as well. Just over 20 minutes left of this Hitching Cup. Kitchen Brook Cup quarter final. It's Biggles Wade United one, Yaxley one. Yaxley who took the lead 
And one player I haven't really spoken about in the second half is Trey Strong because he hasn't had anything to do so far in this first second half. Interesting to see how he copes from this corner. Got to stay focused, got to stay switched on here, Biggles Wage United. Big moments and big games. Ross is in and caught comfortably there by Jake Strong. And might even get an assist here if he's lucky. He's got a slip down. Corey Wilson is ran too far forward here, but he's going to beat the goalkeeper here. He goes down. Penalty to Biggles Wage United. Incredible from what I have just seen from Jake Strong being absolutely excellent there with the catch. Jake Strong normally is the penalty taker. He's asking his manager if he can take the pen. The fans are asking for it. Surely that isn't worth the risk in the grand scheme of things. And Jake. Oh, hang on. There's a, there's a few handbags going on here. Jake's gone back to his goal. I was too busy seeing what uh, Jake Strong was saying. See, he wanted to take it. Corey Wilson's going to take the penalty. He scored a couple. He's missed a couple. Corey Wilson, it's not been his day in front of goal so far. His opportunity to make it 16 for the season and put his team in front in the Hitching Cup quarter final. Hitchinbrook Cup foot quarter final. It's Wilson against Barton. Scored by Corey Wilson and Biggles Wales United take the lead in the Hitchinbrook Cup quarter final. And I think it's supposed to be revealed. Ollie Leslie is also back on the in the dugout. So uh and the substitution is gonna be made. Corey Wilson put Biggles Wage United 2 1 to the good, and it's Biggles Wage United 2. Yaxley 1. Corey Wilson, you've got to give the assist to Jake Strong there. Absolutely excellent. And Corey Wilson, that's going to be his last touch of the football because now he's coming off for Dave Bullet Parkinson. It is number 15, Dave Parkinson. 20 minutes left to play here. Biggles Red United from a goal down is now 2 1 up. And Ollie Leslie, the goalkeeper that wasn't available at the start of the game due to the car incident that we mentioned, is also back on the dugout. That's Bert Parkinson now. Now he actually will look to respond. And uh, if you are just joining us, uh, the scoreboard is not 2-1. Uh, so it's 1-1. One, one. It is 2-1 now to Biggles Road United. It's a foul free kick. Yeah, it is 2-1. Thank you very much for updating the graphic. Free kick here. But Yaxley looked to respond with Mark Barnes over this uh, 
free kick. Headed away. Shot from distance. And uh, it looked like Jake had it covered, but it's wide. Faiza Omar says, come on, Jesus, you got this. Jesus has been uh, another brilliant performance by him today. It's interesting what you do here because Jake has done really well, but he must be getting tired out there. He's not used to playing in goal. Only Leslie, I don't know if he's back on the bench or whether he's just in the dugout here, but if he's back on the bench, do you not take the risk and uh, bring on Ollie? But then if you take Jake off, he's done excellent. So, so contrast. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, comments are just in on. If he is available, Jesus is offside there. Will you bring on Ollie with this final 15 minutes just to see it out, considering the actually haven't done too much of going forward so far in this second half? Or do you let Jake play the full 90 in goal? Let us know what you think. Fifteen minutes left to play. Here at the Vernon Stadium. Fifteen minutes exactly. And it's Biggles Red United two. You actually won. As it stands, Biggles Red United will be through to the semi-final of the Hitching Brook Cup, potentially two games away from Silverware. Okay, not quite get there. Jade Nourish. Markel Cousins. Brilliant touch there from Kel. That is Markel. I see a bullet chested down. A bit too heavy from bullet. Come out wide here, and that's a loose one now. And we've got enough bodies over this. Number 10. Blocked off by Flanagan again. Absolutely excellent from him. And that is why he was brought back to the club. For moments like that. Excellent from Ethan Flanagan. Cross who comes in. Hello. It's out of play. It's going to be offside. It's going to be offside. Substitution for Jack Ashley. Placing his number 11. Kellen Hinkinson. His number 14, Jess Dalton Williams. Keenan Harkins Hinkinson coming off, who came on. Oh, it's. Oh, that's all right, Nick. I got confused as well. Jesus Mendoza. Jesus coming off for. Jesus coming off for number 14. Uh, <laughs> number 14, Aaron Hudson, and Nick's had an absolute shocker there. Um, it got me confused as well, but yeah, Jesus is off for Hudson. I did think that was weird because he'd literally just come on the number 11 for uh, Yaxley. Brilliant for Mackay. Get away by Biggles Wade. So with the 90 left to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Dave William Parkinson here. Marco. And now Yaxley could well be here on the counter attack. It's a low cross and it's come off and Leslie. He might have needed a touch there from Jake. And it's out of play for a corner. Are they going to make this decision and bring on Ollie for the final 10 minutes of the 90? Corner here to Yaxley. 10 minutes left of the 90 left to play. Punched away by Jake Strong. And it's not out yet. It's not scrambled in. It's still a danger. Blocked off from Bigger's way. The shorts. And it's in the back of the net. Yaxley have got the equaliser. It's 2 2. And uh, we're back to another level game. And Jaden Irish might well have been fouled in the build up there. And Joe, yeah, I didn't quite get the goal score there. But that is a goal because Red United aren't happy about it. It is Biggles Wage United 2, Yaxley 2. Jordan's spot on there. Got to be a bit of character now. Biggles Wage United have dominated this second half. There wasn't really much Jake could have done about that one either. <coughs> Corey Henderson coming on, and it looks like the substitution's now being made. Ollie Leslie is coming on for Biggles Wage United. But the question is now is it Jake coming off? So you have to change his shorts and his shirt here because I think Jake Strong is staying on the pitch, going outfield. My word, if he if he somehow wins this game for Biggles Wage United, what a story this would be. Ollie Leslie is coming on after everything that's happened, same as Jaden so earlier on. So uh we're gonna have a quick change of shirts and everything here. So Jake Strong is uh, changing his shirt there. And Leslie is coming on for Ollie Leslie. Ollie Leslie is coming on and Jake Strong will be a right back where he was supposed to start the game. What's the story this would be now? 2-2. Two, two. Jake Strong is now back. Outfield, as you can see on your screen there. Ollie Leslie back in goal. Personally, I'm not I'm uh, surprised that our decision wasn't made before we the equalizer. I say we need Jake on. In fact, he's my man on the match for on as always, Ryan. Who keeps holding on the tension, tell stories every game. 
Well, Jake is actually still on the pitch. Ollie has just come on for Ant Leslie, and Jake is now at right back. And uh, Big was Rage United have a corner here. Jaden Irish over this corner. Under 10 to go. It's 2 2. Away. Brilliant defending. Now it's Jake Strong. Hasn't had much to do outfield, obviously, due to being in goal. And it's Flanagan. Out wide to Mukai, who keeps it on. Mukai angle. Jaden Irish. Hudson. Cross headed away. Now Yaxi here on the counter attack. There's three up here. Shot blocked by Eve by Jake Strong in defense and Ethan Flat and good there in the end. It's out of play for a corner. Oh, thank you, Guillaume. I didn't even talk what you said about um, the load on by Ryan. I do appreciate that. But yeah, I totally agree. If we're doing a play on that tonight, which I think we should do, regardless of what and what the uh, scoreline is, Jake Strong would certainly be my player in the match, and we'll see whether Tracy does agree in five minutes' time. Cross coming in, edge of the way. A long throw here for Biggest Hudge United to contend with. Corner. See, actually, five to go. In heads away, kind of good heads away as well. Brilliant by Jake. You know how many times I've said that tonight? Brilliant tackle. That's a clear tackle by Ethan Danigan, Jaden Irish, and then that's a bad tackle there. And then number 17, they're going to crowd the referee now. Jake Strong's got a chip on his shoulder there because I just had a very interesting in-depth conversation there. Bit of uh, a fighting talk there from both sets of players. And Jake, he's, he's keen really, I think, to get himself a goal maybe. Babbage with the free kick. Flicked on by Parkinson. Is that... Is that... Thank you. 
So, 90 seconds left. We'll be going to a penalty shootout. Jake Strong. Beaten there. Out wide. Corner. Another corner to you, actually. Again to the final minute of the 90. coming in that's not a foul it's not a foul the referee's giving it Brilliant touch there from Kel. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually, maybe not. We're in the 90th minute and I'm almost half tempted. Well done, Jake. Good to see you back in goal again. Oh, so Jake has played in goal before. I did not know that. Thank you, uh, Shirley. You kept that one quiet, that's for sure. Brilliant tackle there from Jake Strong. Pull it. Aaron Hudson. And Yaxley here, they've got that bit between their teeth at the minute. Because we're going to have to switch on here. Free kick to Biggles Wade. And Yaxley player is going to get booked for diving too. Hudson. Parkinson believes his way forward. It's Dave Bullet Parkinson. Couldn't quite find the pass to Hudson. And Yaxley will attack once again. Ethan couldn't quite get in front here. Yaxley continuing to pull forward now. And that is out for a throw in. An absolute shocker. In the number 11. He's not had the uh, most pleasant last minute of football there with a. Uh, Getting bit for diving in and then uh, a conversion in rugby, you would say that that would have been very much gone wrong. We're in stoppage time. I believe we will be going to a penalty shootout. Same as Saturday. Same scoreline as Saturday as well. It's a different cup competition this time. And now he's offside. I might be running down for the penalties. Um, I've done it before for a cup final that we hosted here last season. 
I might do it again. So uh, just brace yourselves for that one on the stream. If it does go to penalties, of course. You, Leslie. Ari, if this goes to penalties, I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to run down to have a better view of the penalties if it goes to penalties. That's a foul free kick against Hudson. Going to stop his time now. Everyone up here for Yaxley. Jake heads away very well. Marco Cousins. Fine, fine bullet. Now Yaxley back up forward. Heavy touch. Hudson and Nan. That was a bit of luck there, but Bullet could well be through. That's a lovely ball out wide. It's Marco Cousins. Marco Cousins deflected. It is Marco Cousins! And the death for Biggles Wayne United! Biggles Wayne United 3! Jackson 2! And Biggles Wayne United! It turned the harsh enough deflections, but Biggles Way don't care. Marco Cousins don't care. And Biggles Way United, that might have just punched their ticket in the, to the semi final of the Hitchin Brook Cup. It's Biggles Way United 3, Yaxley 2. And ignore what I said, Harry, unless Yaxley do something ridiculous in the next couple of minutes. It's Biggles Way United 3, Yaxley 2. And everyone tried to run forward there, and everyone's everyone's uh cross side here, and they're going for it, Jaxley. In a way, Jaden Irish, Jaxley going to go pull to the ball here, and he could leave loads of gaps here. Actually, we're still going. We're still playing here at the Verdon. We're into seven and a half minutes of stoppage time, and that's a free kick to Yaxley. A free kick to Yaxley and what's got to be the last kick of the game. Their goalkeeper's now coming up from this free kick. We're in the seventh and a half minute of stoppage time and we've just about, I've just about seen everything I could ever see in a football game tonight. The goalkeeper is coming up as well, Connor Barton. You have to feel this will be the last play of the game. If you actually score, we could be going to penalties. If Bigglesway can defend, they'll be hunting their ticket into the semi final, the Hitchin Brook Cup semi final. Cross comes in. Ollie Collette 
comfortably. And that's the first time he's touched the ball, but yet it's the most valuable moment. And that is the full time whistle. What a performance by oh, 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 United. Tonight's player of the match is number one, Jake Strong. Absolutely fantastic. Jake Strong, the player. Jake Strong is our player of the match. In between the sticks, played out what outfield for about 10 minutes, but was the emergency goalkeeper today. And he certainly was the hero tonight. Indeed, Wiggles Wage United. Where the hell do we start with that one before we go? Right. So, so as I said, Jake Strong started in goal today. Massive disadvantage, you, you think, on paper, but he stepped up and did brilliantly. And from what I'm hearing from a couple of people in the comments, is that uh, Jake Strong might have played in goal before, so I will be asking that in his interview. Jake Strong, the player of the match, an outfielder who was playing in goal today, he actually got us off. Uh, with a goal directly um, headed in from a corner after a fantastic save by Jake Strong. It was then um, Markel Cousins with a fantastic header connected from a Jesus Mendoza cross to make it 1-1. Corey Wilson then uh, went, went, went down by the goalkeeper. He then stepped up for the penalty to make it 2-1. He actually then made it 2-2 with 10 to go. And uh, Ollie Leslie then at this point was brought on for Ant Leslie. And it also meant that Jake was then being put out field. I hope everyone is following on from this. And then right at the death and injury time, Marco Cousins is second of the game. And Biggles Wade United win by three goals to two. Okay, you can't argue with that. <laughs> I didn't, but I would have picked Jake. Mark, I wasn't happy with not getting played in the match, but I'm sure we'll speak to him and Jake Strong, as well as hopefully a very happy Kaz and Jordan. What has been a very eventful 90 minutes, and I don't know if you can see Nick there on the stream. But yeah, uh, just gives me the thumbs up there, Nick. Uh, we're going to be speaking with it's about everybody, hopefully. Jet Gads, Jordan, we're going to try and get a word with Kel, our match winner. And our player of the match, Jake Strong. Before we head off for what was another fantastic stream and another fantastic game, big word thank you to our sponsors here at Biggles Wage United. We'd like to thank Verdon for being our ground sponsor, Recycling Lines for being our men's first team sponsor, Axis for being our women's senior team sponsor, Gen uh, Spanish Football SL for being our general sponsor, Verdon for being our ground sponsor, JMB Motorsports for being our best team sponsor. Lawless Landscape being our reserve team sponsor. And the key topic is care for being our chosen charity. If you are at the ground or are at the ground for the next couple of weeks, why don't you head on down £2 to get a Christmas raffle ticket down at the clubhouse. Thank you all for tuning in, Guillaume says. See you in the semis. Absolutely, fruits the semi-final of the Hitchin Brook Cup semi-final. If you are around at the Verdon Stadium this weekend, this Saturday, we've got a big Biggleswade derby. It's the Biggleswade United Reserves up against Biggleswade FC Reserves. That's a 2 30 kickoff on Saturday. We will be showing live co audio commentary of the men's first team match this Saturday, away from home. Myself, Ryan Madden, on commentary. A Biggleswade United return to Spartan South League, Spartan South Midlands League action. Easy for me to say. This Saturday, for the first time since late October, as they take on Colney Heath away from home as they look to try and keep their playoff hopes alive and keep and very much well. But tonight is all about the Hitchinbrook Cup. Knocked out two cup competitions before today in the last two matches, but they're still in this one and they're through to the semi final. Full time score here at the Verdant. Biggles Wedge United 3, Yaxley 2. And we're going to finish this off with uh, Patry. Saying thank you, Ryan, as always. Great commentary. And thank you, Ari, for your work in the background. Appreciate it, Patrick. And we'll see you very soon for another Biggles Wage United live stream. Thank you all for tuning in. And also, let's not forget, check out Biggie Talks on Spotify, Amazon Music, and Castbox.